what is going on guys, your boy Sister here, bringing guys yet another Illustrator tutorial, showing you how to do some cool 3D logos in Illustrator, uh, what it basically does is take your 2D flat logo or uh, shape I guess you can say, and turn that into a nice cool 3D logo, give you the bevel and embossed features in the 3D logo you'll see, and if you do not know already, under your effects tab in Illustrator uh, is a 3D function called Extrude and Bevel, uh, which basically gives you that 3D feel, and I'm also using CS6 in Illustrator, uh, so anyways, I'm going to be using the uh, ellipse shape tool. So basically make a crescent logo, I'm going to cut it out in another uh, circle, you'll see what I mean when I get there. Uh, but I'm not using the pen tool to make my shape, so if you really want to learn how to use the pen tool, check out my previous Illustrator tutorial, it's how to illustrate a logo, which basically means like fill your path in or your shape or your logo in with color, use these strokes and all that cool stuff and highlights, uh, basically make this cool different highlights in your logo. Uh, so yeah, it's a really, really cool tutorial, so I advise you to check that out if you want to learn how to use the pen tool, and then come back over here and then make it 3D. Uh, really, really, I really, I really just force you guys to do that. So anyways, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to use the ellipse tool to make a nice circle. So I'm going to hold shift to make a perfect circle. And just click and drag. And what I'm going to do now is make another new layer. I'm going to basically hold shift again. And make a smaller circle. And I'm going to use this little green outline from this circle right here as my incentive to cut this uh, circle out of this circle and make a crescent. Uh, that's what I want to really go for right here. So I'm just going to make a simple, basic logo right here. All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is how to cut out two, uh, basically two shapes, or uh, cut out a shape from a shape, is you want to select the two layers uh, by clicking Control click on these little two circles right here, and go to your Shape Builder tool, it's right here, Shape Builder tool, can, uh, Shift M, or I think it's Command M, I think, for Mac, and if you hold Alt, uh, basically if you hold Alt and Plus, or, or if you hold Alt, you'll see the uh, plus turn to a minus, which means subtract, which means like it's basically delete. Uh, and you can see right away if you just hover your uh, your cur uh, cursor around the the two shapes themselves, you can see where you can cut out from. Uh, so what I'm going to do basically do is just select one time right here in the middle with the uh, subtraction tool, and I'm just going to basically uncheck this. And you can see right away you're going to see these circles cut out from this previous circle, and uh, made it to a nice cool crescent. So I'm going to use this as my actually I'm going to do something cooler actually. So let's just delete this. I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag to make a duplicate. I'm going to shrink this a little bit, I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to rotate this the opposite way, like so, and then give it a cooler look. There we go, so this is a little example logo I'm going to be using, very, very simple obviously. So let's get started, so I'm going to go ahead and select the layer to make it 3D, I want to go to effects, 3D, extrude and bevel, and then right away this little cool tab comes out with your options and all that cool stuff. Uh, so right away I would say select preview so you can see what you're actually doing. And also, right away, uh, you can change this afterwards, obviously, but I say so you can see what you're doing. It's change your perspective to about 90. And then right when you do that, you can just freely come over here to this little uh, 3D axis little square right here and move it around and kind of give it the shadowing you want it to give. So just watch this little black, or not black, this little gray scale right here, uh, basically your 3D part. Turn a little, well, you know, turn it, and just kind of give it a cool pers uh, perspective. So right here, let's just mess around with it. I have it forward or face right to us. Kind of looks good that way. But you know, you just freely go what you want to go for. And also, you can also change the depth of it by just clicking your extrude depth. Uh, kind of like change the depth of the 3D logo itself, or make the or the depth of the 3D feature. I guess you can say I'm trying to like make this not because this is obviously not a 3D program, but this is kind of like a 3D uh, plugin. I guess you can say for it. So let's see. I'm gonna move it to about 105. I like that. And also, if you want to, like, uh, obviously in your free time, you're probably going to mess around with your bevel, uh, which basically is you can make a jaggedy, uh, cool little cut logo, or, you know, uh, how do you say, rounded. So you can say, I'm going to show you how to do this manual as well, so if you don't want to, like, have everything rounded, I'll show you how to do this manually with the uh, pen tool. So it looks cool like this, but I'm just going to keep it on none. You can play around with those if you want. After you're done with that, you just press OK, and you're ready to go. So I'm going to, like, move this up a little bit, though. <clears throat> So what we're going to do now is basically split the 2D from the 3D. What I mean by that is take this gray, you see this lighter gray? I'm going to split the lighter gray from the darker gray. So we can actually, you can actually see a little bit right now what we're going to fix. You can kind of see these little ripples in the dark gray. Uh, we're going to fix that and connect them all together so it's nice and smooth. So what we're going to do is select the layer, and we're going to go to Object, uh, ex Expand Appearance, and you'll see all these little dots and come up. This is basically your paths. What you're going to do is just go to your drop down all the way so you can't drop them anymore. And you'll see these little four or uh, however many groups you have. Uh, what that basically is is the dark gray from the, the lighter gray. And uh, obviously your 3D from your 2D. So if I just uncheck one, I'll just show you what I mean. Uncheck, you see that's like the 2D like image right here. 
and so is this one. So I'm going to name these two. I'm just going to just double click and just name it X so I know what these two are. Uh, just freely so when I put in a group, a separate group, we're going to do. So you can see that's your, you know, regular 2D ones. And then this is your 3D added feature right here. So the dark gray ones. What we're going to do is just make a new layer. And we're going to separate these. And we're just press control click and just put that into the new layer. This is basically how you make a group in uh, Illustrator. I'm just going to call I'm just going to call this uh, I'm just going to call it I don't know cover I guess. And then we're going to make another new layer and take the 3D added part and put it inside there and just call this 3D cuz that's our 3D part of it. And so right away, you'll see if I unhide and hide this, you see what I mean by that or separating it. So if I just highlight the 3D now and go to window pathfinder and then just simply just select the first one and you'll see these little little jaggeds and those little cuts in between if you just click on it it combines them makes it nice and smooth and now you're ready to go and add a color so it's just a basically a really cool quick way to do it and I just find it easier to do it that way uh, a lot of people don't do it that way but I just feel like it's just so much easier uh, so anyways yes yeah, so let's go with that so now I'm gonna do is basically add the color uh, really, really simply just click on the layer you want to start off with this is the cover so this is basically the flat uh, 2d logo part that we're gonna make just change the color around I'm gonna make a gradient though and we're just gonna simply select this white double click on it go to here I'm gonna make this uh, I'm gonna make a red and I'm just gonna kinda like mess around with the the red itself kinda make an orangey red I'm gonna select this black double click on that and then I'm gonna make this red and I'm also gonna make this an uh, orangey type of red there we go so you're gonna see the gradient is just a really simple nice red orangey color uh, I can kind of like mess around with this. I want it a little bit. Oh, I've got to select the layer first. Sorry. Then come over back over here. Are the layer not selecting? All right. Select the layer. Come over here. There we go. Now I have like a nice orangey red. So always when, you, when you're changing your color or anything you're doing to a separate layer, make sure you select it. Uh, otherwise it won't work. You saw me do that, so I kind of struggle right there, but I fixed it right away. So yeah, now I'm gonna do is change the 3D part. I'm gonna make this like basically a white to gray gradient, or white to black. Let's just change this, change it to like you know white, and then go to here, and then make this a little bit more gray. Actually, let's make it solid white. There we go. I like that. So there we go. It kind of looks like a really cool, plain but clean. Uh, so this is what I mean by 3D feature, and this is basically where the tutorial can end. But I'm gonna also show you how to basically curve. Like remember we saw. Oh, I don't think I showed you, but I think, yeah, I showed you the rounded edges. I'm going to show you how to do that manually, just in case you don't want to do it all around the logo. Uh, what you do is basically, I'm going to hide the uh, the cover so we don't select this on an accident. So we can only select the 3D part. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the pen tool right here and go to convert uh, arc point. So if I just click right here and I just click and drag, you'll see the arc will actually become rounded. And I can go back to the uh, oop, the move tool and then just take this handle and just go something like like this and kind of give a little cool little arc to it like a little rounded shape to it so this can be arced and I can do the same thing over here just because go to here click nice little handle go back to the move tool and kind of give it a nice little handle there we go so yeah you can do something like that it looks pretty cool and I'm just gonna keep those as whatever but anyways you can always fix that if you want make it how you want it like I said, that's basically the tutorial and how to like make a nice cool 3D logo in Illustrator. So like I said, it's gonna be it's really really cool. You can always just mess around with other cool things as well. Like I said, the uh, the bevels, you know, the features in the 3D itself, like change around, mess around, all those type of things. Uh, the perspective, always do something different. And I just really feel like it's a really cool tutorial. So if you enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment. Always comment down some new tutorials I can do. And follow me on Twitter at SysWHQ. And I appreciate you guys so much. So I'm really close to 20k. I, I don't know, the 20k pack is going to be so massive. i just really working really hard on it. I appreciate all your guys' support recently. And uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Let's so, you out. Peace.